Welcome to Ubuntu Linux. This is the newest version of Ubuntu Linux and I'm going to give you a quick preview as this is only about the fourth time I've used it. Up here at the top of the screen you'll notice Ubuntu Linux has a taskbar very similar to maybe a Macintosh type environment. The date over here on the right allows you to quickly get to a calendar and even make an appointment from the calendar by clicking on a date. It'll open up a great program called Evolution where you can add any kind of appointment that you need. Next, when you want to open up an application, instead of a start button, you click applications here in the upper left to access your applications or programs. But yes, it has solitaire. In addition to solitaire, you can also find many other games online that are free, and many of the ones that you see here are included with the Ubuntu Linux evolution in addition to email, also has the ability to manage your contacts, have a calendar, also associated with the calendar you saw earlier, memos, tasks, etc. So it works just like Microsoft Outlook and much faster, a little bit cleaner than Microsoft Outlook in all reality. Browsing the internet, probably the next most used application. And Ubuntu Linux comes with Mozilla Firefox, which is by far, in my opinion, the number one browser on any platform, whether Windows, Linux, or Macintosh. And if you're looking for a word processor, Ubuntu Linux comes with many Office programs. Actually, it's part of the Open Office suite is what comes with it automatically, including a word processor, spreadsheet, presentation manager, and a database. So you have a full-fledged Office product suite already included in the Ubuntu Linux. If you're looking to edit photos or manage your photos with Ubuntu Linux, you can also download and install. It doesn't come with it, but you can download and install the wonderful Picasa program. And Picasa is available on the Windows platform. You can also get it here on the Linux platform as well. Looks and operates just like it does on the Windows platform. You can see Picasa here with some of my photos included. If you need to edit some photos, one program that you can download that is, again, also available for PC, I believe, as well, is a free open source program called the GIMP Image Editor. And the GIMP Image Editor is very robust, has many, many of the tools that are included in Adobe Photoshop Elements, for sure. And some people say as functional as the full version of Photoshop. Here are the GIMP tools as they open up, your different layers and cropping tools and layer tools, all the things that you're used to seeing on any image editing program. The one thing I'm still figuring out because I'm new to Ubuntu Linux is how the file system works. And it seems to be organized by user, similar to XP, but not nearly as linear, at least as the way I'm looking at it right now. But you have your computer, kind of like my computer on your desktop now. You have your CD-ROM, and then there's my file system, which is the hard drive. And when you double-click on the file system, you will see the different folders and files that are involved in the file system. But most of your information that you create and save will be saved in a folder with your username. As you can see, my username here is Rick on my Ubuntu Linux desktop. So when I click it, you'll see the different files that I've created in Ubuntu Linux or ones I've dragged from my network into this folder just to experiment with the operating system. And like a Windows machine, you always need to have your controls and your ability to make changes to the operating system. So you can add desktop wallpaper, you can change the size of your desktop, the color of the background, the text size, the way the mouse reacts, keyboard shortcuts, all of those things are available through this system icon at the top of the screen and gives you the ability to control your Ubuntu Linux experience. But overall, I am quite thrilled with Ubuntu Linux so far. I've only used it about a few, three or four weeks and just installed this newer version this week. But I hope to post more and more Ubuntu Linux how-tos throughout this summer because I'd like to help people learn to use this operating system and possibly save them some money from having to move to a new computer. You don't have to have a break the bank computer system to be able to do that. Ubuntu Linux runs on much, much less hardware than is required for Vista. So therefore, you can keep your computing costs down, but yet your computer enjoyment up.